हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू द अनदर सेशन ऑफ ई पाठशाला आई एम डॉक्टर मोनिका सोनी फ्रॉम द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ पॉलिटिकल साइंस जी जी कॉलेज सेक्टर 32 चंडीगढ़ आई एम हियर बिफोर यू टू प्रेजेंट द मॉड्यूल द नेम ऑफ द मॉड्यूल इज सोशल जस्टिस डिस्कोर्स डॉक्टर बी आर अम्बेडकर द ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ द मॉड्यूल इज टू डिस्कस द सोशल जस्टिस डिस्कोर्स ऑफ डॉक्टर बी आर अम्बेडकर डॉक्टर बी आर अम्बेडकर इज ऑल्सो नोन एज बाबा साहेब भीमराव राम जी अम्बेडकर ही इज़ कंसिडर्ड टू बी द मसीहा ऑफ दलित ही वॉज अ राइटर अ फिलोसफर सोशल रिफॉर्मर एंड एन आर्किटेक्ट ऑफ इंडियाज कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन ही हैज़ प्रजेंटेड अ वेरी इलेबोरेट एंड डिटेल्ड स्कीम ऑफ सोशल जस्टिस इन विच ही हैज़ इंक्लूडेड यू नो नॉट ओनली द शेड्यूल कास्ट एंड शेड्यूल ट्राइब्स रादर ऑल द ऑप्रेस्ड एंड डिप्रेस्ड क्लासेस He himself was born in that strata of society where he had felt the pangs of social inequality and untouchability. He fought relentlessly against this inequality and untouchability and he included the Indian masses in his scheme of social justice. His scheme of social justice is based on the five cardinal features. First he believed in the establishment of the trinity of liberty equality and fraternity he says liberty must be given on the basis of equality and if the same is not done there will be chaos and fraternity cannot be expected in such kind of social order as a second cardinal feature he believes that the individual should be treated as an end such kind of social system should be established where an individual is treated as an end and the whole system social system will work as a you know as a medium to establish to establish the betterment of that end that is an individual as a third cardinal feature he believes that democracy should be established in all the three forms economic political and social and he also believed that the establishment of democracy should be there through the use of constitutional means he says that the social justice scheme under the social justice scheme the power the political power must not be centered in the hands of few rich class people friends he has also included women folk of india in his scheme of social justice he wanted to give them an equal status like men he was strongly a critic of devadasi system which was prevalent at that time of social order of india we can see that the reflection of or the realization of his social justice scheme in the provision of the indian constitution through the idea of preamble fundamental rights and directive principles in today's competitive world we see that when you see that there is there are there there is a rush of mnc's all around you and this is an era of liberalization privatization and globalization in such a era of lpg when the human being is only treated as a commodity there is the demand of the social justice much more significant than any other time since dawn of civilization every social order is striving hard to attain the status of a welfare state and trying to ensure happiness to each of its member justice is a very comprehensive and dynamic concept having a vast canvas which cannot be confined within specific limitations peace cannot be imagined in absence of justice and further without justice there cannot be law and stability in the society social justice covers different significant components of justice in it social justice is the edifice for welfare state evolution of social justice in the roman greek tradition it was cicero who elaborated the concept of social justice when he declared quote 
we are born for justice and the right is based not upon man's opinion but upon nature unquote social justice according to plato is defined as the principle of a society consisting of different types of men who have combined under the impulse of their need of one another and by their combination in one society and their concentration on their separate functions have made a whole which is perfect because it is the product and the image of the whole of the human mind in plato's views social justice apparently stands for the performance of the class based duties according to the nature of men plato interlinked individual and social justice together the individual form of justice manifests itself when man succeeds in establishing harmony and unity among all the three qualities of wisdom courage and appetite as inherent in his conscience unlike plato for aristotle justice is inherent in morality scientific insight and constitutional rule he puts it into general justice and particular justice for aristotle the best state is that which is founded on proportionate justice based on the merits of the individual and not on birth wealth liberty and equality he further subdivided particular justice into distributive justice and collective justice distributive justice is distribution of advantages by the state to individuals on the basis of rational equality in modern times the social the term social justice was first used in 1840 different theories relating to social justice utilitarianism it relies on the spirit of the maximum good of the greatest number of individuals thus according to these thinkers whatever is useless painful even and unjust must be reformed or changed in the interest of the greatest number of individuals the maladies prevailing in the society must be eradicated keeping in view the larger benefit of the society self perfectionism f h bradley is the famous philosopher of the theory of self protectionism according to this theory my station and its duties is the fundamental for the achievement of justice each individual must do all his duties honestly and efficiently as per one's potential at each front in society however in bradley's social scheme every person has right to choose his own place of duties hence he can pursue any course of his liking but once he selects his place he must do his work devotedly so that the possibilities of social progress and the areas of justice are expanded in the interest of all marxism the marxist view of social justice believes that the idea of justice has developed through the ages there has been continuous struggle between the haves and have nots throughout the ages in the pretext of social justice as in every stages of human society the have nots were exploited by the have class but could not attain such justice as the problem of exploitation is rooted in the economic structure itself the proletariat revolution followed by the overthrow of capitalism and establishment of socialism or communism thereby abolishing private property abolishing classes and all forms of inequalities only would help attain social justice existentialism freedom is always a precious longing for the human beings and would always remain priority till the species exists on earth it cannot be curtailed or put to peril by any dent or of barricade freedom is entailed by responsibility is the genesis of the existential idea of justice man is responsible for all his ideals which he chooses as a free being whether these ideals are related to justice morality democracy or economic welfare man's just ideals or unjust systems inspire him accordingly 
for pursuing his own course of action. Rawls theory. According to Rawls, the most distinctive elements of which the principle, the inequalities in the allocation of goods are permissible if and only if they work to the benefit of the least well-off members of the society. Social justice with special reference to Dr. B. R. Ambedkar. Hindu social order and the malady of class structure. Dr. Ambedkar was a critique of Brahmanic social order. The Hindu social order recognized only four classes that is Brahman, Kshatriyas, Vaishyas and Shudras. According to the Manusmriti, the position of Brahmins is supreme among all in the Hindu social order. In his essay, The Hindu Social Order, Its Essential Principles, Dr. Ambedkar claimed that in the Hindu social order, there is no room for individual merit and no consideration of individual justice. Manu, the Hindu law creator, has deprived the common men, Shudras. He pointed out that, the Manu Samriti supports the slavery in the form of social inequality. Ambedkar himself was one of the victims of social exploitation and injustice of Hindu society. He, therefore, organized a social revolution throughout the nation for the establishment of justice, liberty, equality, fraternity and human dignity on the basis of the thoughts and works of Gautam Buddha, Kabir, Guru Nanak, Chhatrapati, Shahu Maharaj, Tukaram and Rabi Das who devoted their entire life for social equality. Ambedkar's criticism of Manu Samriti, the root cause for the pathetic status of the marginalized class. Hindu social order is a setup which perpetuates inequality, injustice and hatred. According to Dr. Ambedkar, the root cause of social injustice to the scheduled castes and scheduled tribes is the caste system in Hindu society. Casteism is rampant because there is no independent public opinion to condemn and to address it and there is no impartial machinery of administration to curb it. There is no check from the police or the judiciary for the simple reasons that they are all subordinate to the Hindus and the exploiters are supported by them. He was against Manu Smriti as it gives a warrant to the Brahmins to commit all types of violence on scheduled castes and scheduled tribes and justify their evil designs. The condition of women is also miserable. Dr. Ambedkar says education was denied to them under Manu's setup of social order which has caused both an insult and an injury to the women in India. Ambedkar's inclination towards Buddhism. B. R. Ambedkar was the supporter of Buddhism. Dr. Ambedkar was convinced that there is no salvation within Hinduism for untouchables. He rightly attributed to a social system backed by Hinduism, was responsible for the low status, degradation and low esteem of untouchables. Of all religions in the world, it was Hinduism that recognizes caste distinctions and untouchability. He came up with the solution that conversion to Buddhism as a last resort to emancipate untouchables from the clutches of casteism prevailing in Hindu social order. Therefore, Baba Sahib Ambedkar urged to the oppressed as well as to all the Indians to jump the barricade of biasness created by Hindu social order by seeking the truth in the Buddhist way of life and ensuring a new society based on harmony and happiness. In his book, The Buddha and His Dhamma, Ambedkar very authoritatively claimed that Buddhism can be the solution for the problem of social and natural sufferings of the oppressed class. In his work Buddha or Karl Marx, he regarded the Marxian philosophy as far behind Buddha. He, therefore, preferred the path of conversion to Buddhism because of its egalitarian philosophy. Perception of Social Justice by Dr. B. R. Ambedkar Ambedkar had also a very liberal concept of justice in the sense of its being grounded in human values. Ambedkarite social justice 
stands for the liberty, equality and fraternity of all human beings. It's a fact that Baba Sahib Dr. Ambedkar didn't propound any specific definition or theory of social justice per se. On the basis of these, we can easily argue that Ambedkar has mentioned multiple principles for the establishment of an open and just social order in general and Indian society in particular. Therefore, with the help of these elements, we can carve out a theory of social justice, what can be referred as Ambedkar's theory of social justice. We can extract five basic principles from writings and speeches of Ambedkar through which justice can be dispensed in the society. Establishment of society based on equality, liberty and fraternity. Establishing a society where individual becomes the means of all social purposes. Establishing democracy, political, economic and social. Establishing democracy through constitutional measures and establishing democracy by breaking monopoly of upper strata on political power. Equality, liberty and fraternity. Principles of equality, liberty and fraternity have been acknowledged to be the basic fundamentals of social justice and cannot be treated as separate items in a trinity. Liberty cannot be divorced from equality. Equality cannot be divorced from liberty. Nor can liberty and equality be divorced from fraternity. Form a unity of trinity in the sense that to divorce one from the another is to defeat the very purpose of democracy. However, the problem is that people who support liberty in the sense of right to life, limb and property would not readily consent to liberty if it involves the liberty to choose one's profession. This condition is found even where there is no slavery in the legal sense. For instance, it is found in the society where caste system is prevalent because some persons are compelled to carry on certain prescribed calling which are not of their choice. So far as equality is concerned, one has to admit that uh, all men are equal. Equality may be a fiction but nonetheless has been accepted as the governing principle. Individual as a unit in Ambedkarite concept of social justice. Ambedkar emphasized that the individual is an end himself and that the aim and object of society is the growth of the individual and the development of his personality. He had rejected a village as a unit of governance and adopted the individual as its unit. He criticized the part played by village communities in the history and congratulated the drafting committee for accepting individual as the unit of governance. According to him, the Hindu social order is based principally on class or varna and not on individuals. So the followers of social justice laid main emphasis on individual. Ambedkar's notion of social justice and democracy. Social justice can survive into a form of government having a democratic fabric. Democracy is more than a form of government for Dr. Ambedkar. Democratic society is characterized by absence of stratification of society into classes. Political equality. He argued that we must not be content with mere political democracy. We must make sure our political democracy, a social democracy as well. Ambedkar further defined social democracy as a way of life which recognizes liberty, equality and fraternity as the principles of life. He believed that if we continue to deny social and economic equality for long, we will do so only by putting our political democracy in peril. Fraternity Dr. Ambedkar was of the view that only social justice could lead to social harmony, social stability and patriotic feelings. He believed that a democracy which enslaves the working class, a class that is devoid of education, which is devoid of means of life, which is devoid of any power of organization, which is devoid of intelligence, is no democracy but a mockery of democracy. Ambedkarite social justice relating to Dalits and women. Ambedkar as social reformer, Dalits. After watching and having experienced the plight of the marginalized class, Dr. B. R. Ambedkar 
raised his voice and commenced his mission social justice for the cause of the downtrodden oppressed and the humble class who had been the victim of injustice inequality deprivation discrimination and exploitation perpetrated by the hindu social order for centuries women he was crusader of the indian women also who made tremendous efforts to upgrade the status of women and forced to change the hindu social system in order to protect this second important inalienable part of the indian society that is the women hindu code bill the reforms introduced by dr ambedkar through hindu code bill have been adhered to and have been accepted by and large he by codifying hindu law in respect of marriage divorce and succession rationalized and restored the dignity of women it is needless to say the bill was a part of social engineering via law he was having a strong conviction that the hindu code bill would improve the condition of women and the proprietary rights of the women will be the same as that of the men the similar improvements can be done in the field of adoption and marriage also by the introduction of the bill he requested women section to support the bill ultimately heading towards real democracy in the country upliftment through constitutional means ambedkar gradually got convinced that the social justice can be delivered through the government machinery and through constitutional methods but dalits should also have participation in the process of dispensation of justice he believed that the depressed classes will always remain in minority this makes it all the more necessary why they should insist upon such a written guarantee reflection of ambedkarite social justice in the constitution of india being the victim of social harassment since childhood existing in the society he was conscious of the prevailing unequal social order of india and therefore through constitution the supreme document of this country he laid down the foundations of a socio liberal welfare democratic state that can ensure a just and equal society for all quarters and at each front of the society the preamble of the indian constitution is the mirror of social justice the words contained in the preamble quote justice social economic and political fraternity and equality of status to all the citizens are nothing but harbingers of social change in india part 3 of the constitution relating to fundamental rights contains the theme of social justice of all the rights he regarded equality of opportunity for all citizens as the most important right moreover the indian constitution has empowered the states to make special provisions for the advancement of any socially educationally backward classes and also for the scheduled caste and scheduled tribes the important part of the social justice is the part 4 of the constitution as directive principles of state of policy although this part of constitution is not enforceable by any court the concept of social justice is central and integral to the constitution and it is assumed to be a basic structure of the constitution which cannot be whittled down altered or done away with in the view of doctrine of basic structure propounded in kesavananda bharati case significance of ambedkarite social justice in present scenario in the saga of globalization liberalization and privatization the concept of social justice has assumed a greater significance the meaning of globalization in india is opening doors of our economy to the multinationals in the field of agriculture industries communication transportation electricity generation and distribution and also education etc they are hardly concerned with environment infrastructure development or with social justice many multinational companies by emphasizing on merit have ignored the concept of social justice here man is considered merely a commodity and a person has to compete
for the bread and business equally on the Darwinian socio-economic order that is struggle for existence and survival of fittest. All MNCs should be made to work within the constitutional framework so as to ensure social justice to scheduled castes, scheduled tribes and women in India. For this, the state should make various rules, regulations and procedures. Otherwise, the concept of social justice will confine to black and white only and cannot be realized in practicality. Vision of Ambedkarite social justice and its realization and appraisal. Over six decades of its progress, India has not realized our founder's vision of social democracy, which is another name of justice and equality. In India, social experience says that casteism is having dominance here. Social justice is not accessible to scheduled castes, scheduled tribes living in remote areas. Likewise, equality in socio-economic front has not yet been achieved. Towards 1990s, the neoliberal economic policies adopted by the mainstream political party has posed a great threat to the affirmative policies of the constitution. The ruling government is not willing to provide reservations social justice and inequality in the private sectors. Dr. Ambedkar's dream of a society based on socio-economic justice, equality and human dignity is yet to be cherished. Hence, social and economic justice is still a utopian concept. Now let me conclude the social justice discourse of B.R. Ambedkar. Friends, we have seen that he has presented a very elaborated vision of social justice. He has included the commoners, the masses in this scheme and everybody who is downtrodden or oppressed in any of the ways and he made constitutional efforts also to establish this kind of social justice through the provision of as we have already discussed preamble, fundamental rights and directive principles. He was also a strong supporter of Buddhism also and he was an ardent supporter of women emancipation and an equality given to women. Thank you.